Yeah, well, good morning, y'all. Uh, it's uh, Wednesday. Yeah, it's about 8 o'clock. Almost 8 o'clock, quarter to 8 in the morning. Um, about 40 degrees out here in the desert. But I moved to a different spot. Uh, I'm going to show you these, these big, huge cactus. Oh, these things are huge. I don't know if the camera is going to show them or not, but... Um, these things are huge, man. There's two of them sitting right there beside the side, and there's another one over here. But you gotta love these cactus, man. <laughs> Saguaro cactus. And look at the bottom of it. It actually looks like a tree at the bottom. But then you got this stuff that's, that's coating the tree. This one's kind of turning brown and kind of rotted out up that way. But this one's still green. That one's still green. But this is my new spot. Um, I come back here a little ways off of the uh, off the main road because I was getting so much um, dust off the road that I can't keep the, the Jeep clean, you know, it's wiping the windows every day. You can see how much dust I got just right here on my wheels. Here. You probably can't see it, but it's all over the Jeep. The windows are actually clean you know, for the most part. It's a little bit of dust. That's where I was driving around yesterday. But since I come back here, you know, they're not so bad. driving around but anyway um, I got a portable propane tank so I don't have to keep taking this up up to the town and filling it up I just take that tank and I got the generator running until the Sun takes over it's a beautiful Sun sunrise um, but I got the generator running sorry for the noise I usually run it in the morning and in the night before I go to bed to charge the batteries up. I've also got this portable sewer tank here. So what I do is uh, I can fill that up, uh, dump my sewer into that. It hooks onto the back of the car and then I can pull it up to the dump station. Levelers. I've been looking for these around the house. So. But anyway, um, I'm going to go take a trip down to Yuma today because I met a guy here. And, uh, man, it's beautiful back in here. Somebody's fire pit they built. But I'm going to head down to Yuma and get me a uh, freshwater tank. I met a guy here and he said he found them down there. He told me where he found them. It's a 35 gallon tank that uh, looks like a kind of a small barrel that lays on its side. You see it's wide open back in here. Not very many neighbors. They're off in the distance. But anyway, I'm going to drink my coffee. And, uh, yeah, I gotta have my coffee. Uh, probably grab me some breakfast real quick and then start heading to Yuma. Get that portable tank, then I could just take this one and dump it. And then, uh, right around the corner, I could get, I could fill up with fresh water and then come back here and pump it into the RV. I've got an extra pump now. So anyway, I'll get back with y'all here in a little bit. There we go, everybody. Turkey spam and eggs. That's the ticket. Uh, let's see. You throw in some. Throw in a little pepper here. Maybe. Try to turn it up too much. I'll ruin it. And my favorite spice. It don't come in this big jug, by the way. It comes in smaller ones, a big can. 
but yeah, just gonna get it open. It's hard to do this and hold the camera at the same time. There we go. Take my recyclers up and the trash. Dump those on the way out. So yeah, here's breakfast. Spain legs. Cookie spam, I kinda like it. Anyway, get me some breakfast and then I'll start heading to you. Alright y'all. Finally done. Got my recycles in the back in my trash take that out dump it and then head on down towards uh yuma there's also there's a long-term visitor area down there just like this <coughs> and since i'm paid uh, i paid to stay here through the season uh, i can stay in all of them which means i can stay in all four of them up here and I know there's at least one. I know there's at least one down there. Hey y'all. Well, I got my tank, got my groceries, and believe it or not, I'm actually in California right now. I don't know if you can see all these palm trees over here. But I gotta get you unplugged. <laughs> yeah, I'm in California. I think those mountains might be Arizona ahead of us. But yeah, I'm out here, all farmland. So I'm trying to find this uh, this other uh, long-term visitor area. So I'll get with you if I see anything in, in, interesting. And a good day. Hey y'all. So I'm I'm headed back. Uh, I got my tank. Got my groceries. I went over into California checked out that place but I wanted to show you this on the way back a couple of things I want to see so uh, this is the entrance to the military base here so I'll show you these guns these are sitting at the entrance these are sitting at the entrance to the base I thought this is pretty cool then. This thing is huge. Holy crap. <laughs> it's huge. I'm gonna show you, gonna show you this sign. I hope you can see that. 220 millimeter gun. Just the ammunition alone is 204 pounds. Total weight of this thing is 103,720. The gun is 35 feet long, 35,635 yards. Anyway, I guess that's probably what they're using in something like close to this in. Uh, In Ukraine, I don't know if we're big, but this thing is huge. Hopefully, this this will show you a little bit of that. But just the bottom here is just the bottom of the gun is almost three feet across. But. Another one over here. I'll show you this one real quick. This one's on tracks. The gun's longer, the barrel. But it looks smaller though.
I gotta admit, since I got out here in the desert, I've seen some pretty cool stuff. This is where they, where they get in. I don't see a sign for this one though. But definitely big. Hopefully you can see it. The sun's out here down to the south of me. This is on uh, State Route 95. Anyway, I checked out that bit. Uh, LTVA long-term visitor area for Yuma and it's actually it's actually over in uh, it's actually in California and uh, so I'm thinking I'm going to come down here though because Somebody had told me that it didn't have uh, water and dump station and all that, but it actually does. Or well, actually, I read that on reviews. It didn't have, but it actually does. It's got more than more than they do where I'm at. So anyway, I'm gonna hit the road. There's a couple other things I've seen up through here. If I can find them on the way back, um, I think one might be on down that way though. So I got to go the other way. But anyway, I didn't take any video at the at the uh, campground because that's going to be in videos when I come down here. And I may come down here real soon because it's I'm loving it down in here. It's warmer. Uh, the nights don't get as cold. So anyway, I'll get back in here when I find something to do or get back to the to the house. Hey y'all, I can see that sunset over here. I finally made it back. Um, Anyway, uh, this here is what I went down there for. This is a 35-gallon uh, tank. And right here, this, this part right here is kind of messed up a little bit, but it ain't going to hurt nothing. It's got threads inside here. So what I'm going to do with this, it tells me, you know, it's a 35 right here. Um, what I'm going to do with this is uh, when I take my sewer tank up to dump it uh, I'll take this with me and fill it up with water and bring it back and what's going to do this here so I can hook a hose onto this and this I got another piece that's going to hook right in here so that way you know I can shut it off here and then um, and then I can uh, pump it into the RV with another uh, water pump. Yeah, the water goes in here. Put the water in here. It's got a uh, vent on the top of that door. So that'll help me to, I won't have to move so much. So I haul my, I haul my sewer water up and then uh, Then I'll hold my fresh water back in that, put that back into my tank. So with that, the sewer tank and the, the propane tank, I shouldn't have to move a whole lot until I get really low on gas. I'm actually thinking about just getting me a, a um, five gallon gas can for that. This is a sticker, by the way, that they give you. So this sticker, I can uh, park in any of the long-term visitor areas so anyway um, while I was down there I went over to the uh, long-term visitor area in uh, in Yuma which it's actually in California it's across the river let me clean this my it's actually across the river um, over on the California side it's got a, a big huge reservoir it's right uh, really close to the to the river between California and, and Arizona and um, it's got a it's got more water fill-ups and dumps 
well they got more twice the, the water fill-ups fresh water fill-ups down there than they do here and I didn't know but there's uh, four places here at La Posa only only the one I'm in now La Posa South has actually got um, got water and a sewer dump all of them got trash cans but um, look at that look at that man that's beautiful anyway um, I'm gonna close this out here so I'll show you all this thing and uh, that'll make life a lot easier It'll fit right in the back of here I can take it down bring it back and uh, pump the water over so, um, so I'm gonna close this out here and uh, try to get this uploaded tomorrow maybe today is uh, Wednesday I'm supposed to have some packages come in but I, I didn't know they come into the post office first and then the uh, ironwood outpost goes down to the post office to pick them up so she said she'd call me tomorrow if they come in if they're at the post office so anyway I'll close this out let y'all see that moon if you can see it and then we'll end with that because that's always a beautiful sight to see every night so anyway talk to y'all later